All right, guys, welcome back to episode 96 yes. of Dope yes. Talk TV. Is your truly low key? Got John here with me, got Jay over yes, here, are. Remy in the back. You already know how to Yo. fuck with rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And listen, man, only about 20% of y'all are actually subscribed. So hit that fucking subscription button or hold my sack and get the fuck out of here. All right? Hold the sack. Listen, we're back. We're back with another one. We in here. Damn, I just ashed on myself. What the? F- damn, looking dusty, rusty, crusty. Damn, bitch, bro. I'm looking dusty as hell. <laughs> yeah, dusty. dusty Sundays, huh? Yeah. No, nah, bro. Today's Sunday, though. It's beautiful. Sunday, yeah, fun it day. Is beautiful. It's it beautiful is beautiful day. We're out here. Uh, you know, I think I thank the Lord for waking me up this morning. You know Facts. I mean? Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, you, I just want to. Just say that I love you. I love everybody. That's yeah, watching a round of applause to everybody that's tuning in one more time. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk family. We love you. Yep. We appreciate you. Like your blunt, like your J. You know what I'm saying? Pack your bomb, pack your bowl, get your dab rigs ready. Whatever you got to do, your puffs, your Mad puff pipe. skis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all, all of that, all of that. Whatever you like, man. Yeah. Whatever you like, we with the shit. Whatever you like, I like. But yeah, how y'all feeling today, boys? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> shit, I'm doing really well. Um, I had a great weekend. Uh, it was pretty chill. Um, seriously, it was really chill. It wasn't like the other, the other episode where, you know, I had drama and shit. It was actually really, really good. Uh, it was relaxing. I've been spending a lot of time by myself lately. Yeah, you know? bro. Like, facts. Big like, facts. Yeah, me too, bro. I've just been cooling, bro. Yeah. Cooling. Sometimes you just got to regain, your, you know, recharge your batteries on your own. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just. Recharging, know. recharging batteries is important, man. That's very important because it's yeah, like come on, it's only it's a lot of energy. Like if you don't believe in energy, then I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, no, nah, it takes energy to deal with people. It takes energy to do uh, everything, you know. So it's like sometimes you need to recharge your batteries and take some time for yourself and just do shit by yourself and just you know what I'm saying relax on your own, bro. You know what I'm saying for real, for real. Relax but, on your own. But yeah, man, you know who's relaxing right now for show. Sure. Is these motherfucking hackers, man? Hell, they cool. These motherfucking hackers, man. A round of applause to the hackers. These guys are fucking doing their thing right now. In the last couple weeks, just the last couple weeks alone, Amazon hackers have made eight hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars in just ten days. That was that was just in ten days. Uh, hackers breach Electronic Arts, EA Sports, stealing game source code and tools. Um, God. They, uh, Microsoft says solar winds hackers have struck again at the U.S. and other countries. Jesus. Fucking Russian hackers launch major cyber attack through the U.S. and aid agencies and email systems. So it's like it's, there's hackers hacking everywhere, bro. Yeah, they're, they're literally you know getting to everything. If they want to fucking... Get a million dollars in GTA, they're willing to fucking do that shit. You know, and you know how hard that is sometimes, you know? You, you know, they'll catch that shit and fucking delete your account. Like, yeah, you know nah, I mean? but, bro. Listen, man, guys, hackers are hacking. Keep your shit safe. Everything, everything shouldn't be on on a uh on a piece of technology. Cause these things could break, these things get hacked. Yeah. Somebody's looking at your fucking nudes from the other side of the world and you don't even fucking know it. You don't even right? know it. You don't know it. They're fucking looking at your millimeter pita. That's fine, right. though. I mean, like, that's cool. We all have the same <laughs> shit. Like, you when people are like, oh, fucking release nudes. I'm like, yeah, so the fuck what? He has a fucking penis, just like fucking me. Who Prove fucking it. cares? You have one? Prove it. I mean, he might not. You don't know You don't know what they identify as. Don't, yeah. don't do that. Yeah. Don't, miss, don't miss fucking identify right, drugs, so, people, John. You're so insensitive. It, it, piece it, of shit. it can be a fucking whatever the fuck you want to be called. That's fine. But I'm going to call you it then. Damn. And we're not talking about the Hey, club. listen. Round of applause to John for having the cojones to say whatever yeah. the fuck he wants. Stand yeah. up for yeah. your rights. He said he's going to call you it. No, it. no, no. You know what, you know what man? Saying? Like, oh, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I really don't know what you are, what you want to do with your life, but that's fine. It doesn't involve me, but I'm going to think how I'm going to think. You can't change my opinion. Sorry. You got to give me some facts. Yeah, no. Nah. And that's the thing. It's like, we're all entitled to our opinion. And we've gotten to a point where, like, people that, that you know, support LGBTQ, like, they're supported more than a lot of other people right now. Yeah, But absolutely. when you give your opinion, it's like, I don't hate you, but yeah. I don't agree with you. I hope you guys that's, succeed. That's hate. Go that's hate. And, yeah. Go you know ahead. What yeah. Whatever your goal is in, 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 in life, 
Go ahead and succeed it and do whatever you want to fucking do. No one's going to fucking stop you. Who am I? Who am I to tell you, oh, this ain't right. This ain't. This is just my opinion from my personal life. So if y'all get offended, y'all can hit the thumbs down button. Y'all can just fucking leave. It's up to y'all. Whatever the fuck y'all. It's up to you. <laughs> Right, let me stop this fucking rant over yeah. here. My <laughs> God, John yeah. is filled with a lot of guilt. It no, sounds like, hey. guys, fuck you. Yeah. Whoever broke John's heart, yeah. fuck you. Yeah, fuck, fuck him. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, but now, nah, listen, man. You, too. you know who's fucking hurting, though? <laughs> this is this fucking lady, man. So this woman stuck over 7,000 pennies to her bathroom floor to give the room a makeover, you know, oh, give her some stupid shit, right? Yeah. She glued down a coin. That's worth like eighty-seven thousand dollars. She found a what? coin. No, there's a coin in the fucking ground, bro. Oh my! She God. fucking glued that bitch just to give the bathroom a makeover. No. Is she rich? I don't know. I don't think so. That's a flex. But I guess so, bitch. Yeah. There's a coin that's worth ninety oh. bands, and you can't fucking get it. Yeah. I need but to you take know a what? shit. Gotcha. That's that a flex, bathroom. though. Like, <laughs> That's a yeah, fucking baby. flex. Like, welcome to my bathroom. You see nah, that little baby. coin on the fucking floor It's over there? worth 90 grand. <laughs> Too bad I'll never fucking see the money. Too bad, you can't get it. <laughs> Too bad if you try to steal it and run off of my ass, you can't get it. Uh, until a piece of fucking, uh, your chunky floor is missing. Uh, right. That's true. Nah, nah, they're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get it, they're going to get it, bro. Yeah, they're going to get that shit. They're going to get it. But nah, bro, that's just, that's fucking unfortunate, man. So many people miss out on fucking, like, come ups. Oh, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's a fucking gut wrenching feeling. <laughs> When somebody Follow comes to your house bang. and they're like, bro, I would have gave you 90 bands for that shit. But now since there's glue on it, you got to dig it out and I'll fucking give you two racks. You yeah, really? yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's trash. I've seen that pawn, like pawn stars, whatever, you know, they bring <laughs> in coins all the time and they're like, I'm going to get fucking 70 fucking thousand dollars off this. And then when they're he tell him, he's nasty. like, the bald guy that I mean, he's like. He's like, I got to call my guy, but yeah. honestly, I'm honestly man, buddy. I think that he's only going to give us like $500 so for it. He asked me, he's like, so how much is it worth? And he's just like, how much do you think it's worth? To be honest, the coin like, looks like it was come from the replica of 19, uh, whatever. It's, uh, 1916. It was actually, uh, you got to be careful because you can see by the smudge yeah, mark on the, the bottom smudge. of the corner that no one else could see. Only I can know. I, I see the fucking pube head <laughs> yeah. that's stuck in the fucking corner. Yeah, and I, There's some people that come out winning though. They be coming out winning. That pube is Julius Caesar. He's like, this was okay. given to my grandmother. It was in my attic for, and, and, and yeah, it's fucking worth 50 fucking grand. So. Hey, bro. And then they actually get like 30 off it. I'm like, man, that's a come up, bro. That's a nigga for a coin that you never even gave a fuck about two weeks ago. Are you fucking kidding like, me? Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. That's fucking That's up. a come up. Yeah, He's like, this is rare. I want it in my shop. Yeah, Shit. no. Facts. I, I feel you. It's money. Hey, listen, man. But you know what? Round of applause. Round of applause to All motherfucking. Right. To the Migos. Oh, Migos. All right. Migos, Migos. Yeah. To the Migos, bro. <laughs> Migos. They fucked around. And uh, yeah, man. You're too high. You're too high? Yeah, too high. I had to, I have wow. to cut it off. But listen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, listen. The Migos, bro. Shout out to the Migos. <laughs> shout out to, to Derek and Baby. Shout out to fucking Quando Rondo. Shout out to everybody that dropped music this past week, man. Yeah, man. To yeah. Paul OG. You know what I'm saying? The shit was fire. They dropped some shit, bro. They dropped some shit. And uh, ultimately, man, like, it's just, it, it's a different vibe right now, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. we've been quarantined. Most <laughs> places been shut the fuck down. It's, I you know don't what know. I'm saying? Things People are outside, bro. I don't know. Outside is open the again. Different. The air feels it different. Feels yeah, different. It feels different. It feels like, different. it smells like gunpowder fucking. Yeah. And you, know what it, you, you know what it feels like? You know what it smells like? And you know what it tastes like? What is, ooh, what, ooh, no, let us know. It let tastes know. like fucking money coming my fucking way this year. I don't know what the fuck is up, man. Yeah, John. Uh, He's you know making what? himself a target. Yeah. So if you know who John is no, no, and you're no, in the neighborhood, I'm talking remember, about, he's making money. I'm talking about the people that, that do, you know, the, the public wrong. Like, they want peasants, right? Politicians? Yeah. They, they Yeah. I, I feel like it. a lot of shit is about to uncover. And I really feel like people are really starting to wake the fuck up. Like, on some real shit. Like, yeah. you know, like on a conscience level. I think we're headed to another conscience. Like, because there's different levels of consciousness, right? I feel like we're we're actually waking up a little bit more. I think we're reaching that that barrier to the next level, if that makes sense. 
Yeah, you can look at it like that, bro. But you can also look at it like <laughs> the world is just fucked. Uh, yeah, that too. Honestly. That too. That too. It's always We're gonna be all fucked. going to hell. Just kidding. Nah, but she, she's yeah. been getting worse and yeah. worse. Like now, it's not just like what we're doing. Like there's well, yeah. it is from what we're doing. There's like mm-hmm. fucking plankton that are killing all the reefs and shit. We're on the that's from pollution. Shit. That's from pollution though. <laughs> That, yeah. There's like a slime that's in the middle of the ocean that's killing everything. Fish can't eat, reefs can't live, and that's gonna affect us. Yeah, because that's gonna affect the fish population with Biden's a gonna gonna food fix that, shortage. Though. Biden's gonna fix. Oh yeah, yeah, no. Biden's gonna fucking. You, you guys know? don't worry. Don't worry. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. Yo, that's fucking nuts. Plankton, man. That reminds me of like SpongeBob. Bumbox. Yeah, he's a little fucking evil mm. piece of shit. Now imagine <laughs> trillions of them fucking. And his <laughs> wife was a whale, wasn't it? Or his daughter was a whale? No, that's Mr. Krabs. I'm sorry. Yeah, his daughter. He fucking he. <laughs> <laughs> Get yeah. it together. Yeah, yeah bro. Let me get yeah, fucking plankton. adopted. A shout out to Mr. Krabs, man. You're a fucking shout out piece of shit, him. but you got a heart. He's shout out slug. to the man that got eaten by a fucking whale. Oh, you saw oh, that yeah. shit? Yeah, that was yeah, fucking crazy. That, that, that fucking shit was wild. Yeah, hey, he, he thought he was a plankton. Jonah. Man. That nigga said all I felt was pressure. Pressure. And fucking... <laughs> he's, like, I, came out. he's like, it can't be a shock. <laughs> <laughs> That guy's a G. That guy's a fucking G. That guy's not scared. The guy's happy. No, no, he was shitting bricks. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no I would have been, been, been scared too. Uh, nigga, I you're getting had a heart eaten by a whale. <laughs> A yeah, heart that's one go. You're gonna literally shit yourself. That's probably what made him spit he him out. He was in there for 30 <laughs> seconds. And he probably was like, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, this tastes like shit. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a long time, 30 seconds. But he had breathing apparatus because he was diving. Oh my. So God. that's the only reason he was able to stay in there because he had a fucking shit on him to breathe. Oh my God. So he kind of lucked out in that way. That's fucking nuts. Now, that's PTSD. That's PTSD. I'm never bro. diving again. Ever. Ever. Bro, nah, nah, I'm you never know, going near the ocean. Nope. <laughs> that, that's everybody's biggest fucking fear, bro. bro that's imagine. nightmare shit. They're no, no, swimmers. <laughs> like these professional swimmers, they swim through the ocean. Like they don't even swim in pools. Bro, they don't give a nah, fuck. fuck. Like, bro, the people, ocean like, is so bottom fucking list. Like the depths of that and the fucking size is enough scares me. You could be looking <laughs> down at something and you don't even know it. I'm scared right now. Just that shit's about looking it. up. Yeah, at you, he's fuck, like, bitch. He's like, you don't even see me. He's like, yo, this thing thinks Dude. I'm a fucking rock. rock. Yeah. And I'm all the way at the bottom of the ocean. I'm about to see you. It's gonna fucking smack. You ever shit. seen those giant squids? Oh, pfft. them bitches are no. like as big as a bus. Yeah, no, bigger that's, than it's bigger than that. That's I think. scary. That's scary because there's shit under that Oof. that probably eats that. <laughs> yeah, I know, you know right? what I'm saying? No way. Like nah, real the, shit, bro. Nah, the sharks, man. The sharks are cool and all. Like I, I feel like sharks. I, yeah, I feel like bronze. sharks. Sharks don't really fuck with us like that. But you know what? When they're hungry, they're hungry. They gonna eat. Bro, the people who get attacked <laughs> by sharks is a small number, you know? Yeah. We just fear, bro. Fear is a motherfucker. But in reality, your chances of getting attacked by a shark are pretty small. Yeah, it's less. You're more likely to get, like, <laughs> struck by lightning. You're more likely to get, get bit shot by a shark. and robbed on the beach that you're swimming at than get attacked by a shark. No, yeah, that's no. scary. It's, but just, then there's, it's more that you're going to bleed out, right? Like, you bleed out more. Like, I feel like they're not. They'll, oh, they'll just fuck. bite it and let it go. Like, I don't think they're Bro, it all it. depends. It depends uh, on how far you are, where they bit you what at. What kind of shark it what was. What kind of shark it was. There's how sharks that. Swimmer. Yeah. There's sharks that back. could bite you, bro. And, like, their teeth uh, fucking pattern is like, it shreds you too much. Like, they can't uh, do nothing with The girl from Soul fuck. Surfer, bro, it ripped her arm off immediately. Like, it. it yeah, she no. came out of the water with no arm. Oh, yeah. my God. Imagine that. Is that what was that the chick that was like Beth. swimming in a cruise? She like, survived. She was by a cruise. No, nah, the Bethany she Hamilton. Didn't? She's a professional surfer. Oh, she's still out there. Holy oh, the- yeah, shit! She has kids now and stuff. Yeah, but the movie's still- on Netflix, bro. You should watch it. Yeah, she's all right. John's like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. You just that's- missing an arm for yeah, the rest yeah, of your nah, fucking life. Passion, PTSD. Bro. I bet you. Yeah, I, bet I bet you. She's still going to the same spot. Bro, she's still sw- she's, she's still like, I wish this nigga would come back. <laughs> Facts. I'll no, fucking I'll kill him with my one arm. No, they killed heart the back. shark after. They oh, killed they, the oh, shark. Oh, they did. Yeah, they found the shark. Damn, how'd yeah. they find Man, it? Man, I think that should be bullshit. Yeah. They yeah. found yeah. the next shark yeah. and said, fuck you. So you tell me you can find the fucking <laughs> shark, but y'all can't find Casey Anthony's murderer or whoever the fuck. Yeah, the fucking you can't find her daughter's murderer. Yo, like, come on. It was the fuck out of here. It was fucking bullshit. I watched no, they about, found me them. and Abby watched at the resort the other night a whole shit about that at night the Casey Anthony thing here yeah. that shit's sad and, yeah it was sad I was talking to like girls that she was locked up with for a little bit and they like said shit that she told her and like when shit started not adding up like her reaction when they're like oh we found your daughter's body shit that she told that girl in jail that the news hadn't even reported about yet like oh she was wrapped up in a Winnie the Pooh blanket okay they haven't found your daughter yet how the fuck do you know 
You see what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. I don't know how the fuck that bitch got off. Even the jurors were under like money, a money and pussy. Money and pussy. She <laughs> fucked a lawyer. <laughs> no, Her dad bro. paid the fucking yeah. judge. Come when on, you bro. watch that show, you're just like, how the fuck did she get away with it when everything is like sketchy as shit? If it Guys, one of listen, us, man. That whole situation we know, was sketchy. We know we've brought this up probably two times already, <laughs> but no, no, no. Listen, listen, get ass. Like, nah, this bro. is something that I feel like needs to be fucking talked nah, about it's because like, it's, like, it's fucking crazy <laughs> how an innocent child could be murdered by their own family, the family being not held accountable, nothing yeah, happens, nothing. nobody goes to jail, yeah. nobody fights for this little kid. Yeah. Like, That's fucked crazy. up. Yeah, like, and you know you have to get the fuck out the hey, state and because the look- we're, we're like every Floridian here is like. Like fuck you, we're, we're gonna kill. Yo, she's in bro. South Florida, <laughs> according to the show. That's where she was last seen. Fuck her. <laughs> fuck Damn. her. Bro. She's brave to be she, going wow. out and about. She's, a she's brave. Shit. Oh, Dude, she's brave. Who fuck cares, her. bro? People are pussy. They talk yeah. a lot, but they don't do nothing. Yeah. Let's be real, bro. Zimmerman, fucking. He's you know what I'm saying? There. He's still out yeah. there. He sold his gun for two hundred fifty thousand. What? The gun who that he fuck killed? bought that shit. Oh, you know who bought that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know who bought that oh, shit. No, but honestly, oh bro, God. he sold the gun that he killed Trayvon Martin with for $250. Yeah, so somebody, bought yeah, somebody bought it. Yeah, somebody bought it. That is how is that's that sick. legal? That's yeah, sick. that's Cuz it's legal, up. bro, cuz it's like he got off of it. Now it's history. I mean, it is history. It is it's literally history. Yeah. He got off of it. He got like But it's like crazy. Bro, like to me, to there's certain cases, there's yeah. certain cases that like have Race shouldn't have nothing to do with it, and that's a case where race shouldn't have nothing to do with it. That's a grown man yep. that was told not to go fucking keep following this kid by the cops. Yeah, nah. the cop was on the phone with him, like, "Stop following him. Yeah. We got it. We're on the way. Yeah, leave him alone. We're gonna go talk to him. At that point, you should no longer be fucking following him. Nah, for real. The cop, yeah. the cop straight up told You're you, like, security guard though. Like, he's what, not security. He wasn't. No. Nigga, a, a, a fucking a neighbor, neighborhood watch isn't... You're oh, not okay, the police. Neighbor, okay, he's a neighborhood watch. Neighborhood Sorry, watch. Right. I know he was something like that. He did his job by calling the cops. Yeah. That's neighborhood watch. At that point, you Just let the cops let handle, handle it. it. Yeah. But you follow him. You know what I'm saying? If Trayvon Martin swung on him and shit like that, he's wrong for that too. Because yeah. when an adult tells you to fucking stop, you, you, gotta, you stop. You, you stop, be like, yeah. all right, fuck it. I'm going to call my dad. Whatever we got to do, nigga, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Yeah. So I'm going to just, whatever. Yeah. Two wrongs don't make a right, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could have been handled a different way. A lot of situations can. But the thing that fucks it over is when you start adding race into it. Oh, a white man kills black teenager. And it's like, you come to find out he's not even white, he's fucking Hispanic. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, at the end of the day, it's like all this racism shit, bro. Yeah, he it's was like, Hispanic. He's Mexican. Yeah. yeah, like all this racism shit, like it happens and and it's fucked up, but we, we got to get moving from it, bro. We got to yeah. start looking at the bigger picture and not just race. Everything yeah. doesn't need to include race. And that was next to home. You too. know what I'm saying? Like all this fucking, you know... White business, black business shit is like, bro, like it's yeah. a business. Yeah. It's like, a fucking business. Like, let's not let's not bring race into it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like bro, if you name something like a black business, right? It's gonna make me feel uncomfortable like I'm not wanted there. Like that's just the way that I'm gonna think. Like I'm just vice versa. You know, if I say it's a white what if I said it was white business? Or I, if let's just flip the roles, man. Like, come on, bro. People are only being one sided here. So Facts. if I if I say, okay, white business, white excellence, how how do you think that's gonna come about? How do you think people are gonna react to that? If I would have said that. He it'd said white viewed, excellence. It'd be viewed as no, but it's true though. It'd be viewed like as that one. It'd be because, viewed as a, it'd be viewed as fucking racist. But it'd what is white though? Like, no, what is white? Like what is you're white? white? Am I white? I'm not. I mean, I'm half white, but, but look I was born in Puerto Rico and you would just look at me and judge me as a white guy because... But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, what's know, white? What's black? But what is There's white? black people in Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. I and, asked, you know? I, yeah, I asked somebody that actually and I hit them with, well, what's your definition of white? And they had, they were like, wow, like I... I really don't know what to say. You're right. Yeah, it's just you know? skin color. The same thing. Yeah, yeah. Like most people look at it uh, like, oh, they're, they have to be white. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it's like... European, Listen, European. Yeah, at the end of the day, like all that shit, all that shit should be dead by this point in history, man. Like 
Don't let nobody disrespect you either. Yeah, man. You know, like, but yeah. it's like, it's like come, come on, bro. bro. At some point, we got to all start moving forward. We got to start treating each other different and, and actually doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like It's a generation like, full of fucking followers and social media. Yeah, and everybody yeah. believes Sex. every post and everybody has a fake life. And right now, they're trying to teach this all this race shit in schools and mm-hmm. teaching kids to hate the cops. And these kids are young. They're going to be the next you, the next us. And think about how grown and fucking yeah, warped this, this is what reality you're is going to be for them. Like, fuck out of here. With yeah, this is what you're teaching. Like, you're teaching your kid. Like, you know, I, all I said was, yo, bro, I pray for you, man. Like, I hope I hope that uh, you get better because obviously you're going through some dark times because I worked with the man. You know what I mean? And, and it was like a little disagreements. But uh, nah, I just I just want him to understand that, like, yo, like race shouldn't be a part of business, bro. Like that that's totally irrelevant to what business is about. And there's shitty people in any color. It doesn't matter. Blue faces is the only fucking like, faces I If he's lowballing your business, right. if he's lowballing your business, then he's just lowballing your business and he's a lowballer. Yeah, or maybe you just need to assess your situation and stop thinking you're bigger than you are and thinking that your business is worth more than it is. Yeah. Sometimes you need to do that too. Yeah. You need to take a step back and be like, man, like who the fuck am I to yeah. be sitting here telling this man like what my business should be worth to him? Yeah. If he's looking at it from a business standpoint and that's what he offers, that's what you think is a fucking worth, nigga. Yeah. How about get, you get your worth up? Yeah. Put the work in. Get your worth up. Get yeah. your content up. Do yeah. what you got to do. Or maybe just do more clients and start fucking proving yourself. Exa- to that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, just you got to you gotta add value to yourself before somebody sees the value in you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's just straight fucking facts. Yeah. Bro, we live in a generation, like I said, everybody, nobody's hustling everybody pretends like they hustle they post online look at me i read look five books a yeah, day yeah because i sat down and saw this book I on saw, my coffee i saw that table. today i saw that today actually that's Thanks. funny that you now fucking take a picture said of that. this and yeah that's oh, oh my god i swear to god i'll show you after this yo there's a fucking there's somebody that just posted a fucking them reading a book it's like bro like you probably yeah, just took the you. picture and you put the fucking book down <laughs> yeah Facts, like come on Facts. like come on listen bro people that do shit don't have to show it yeah, yeah it's the same it. thing with everything if you really read like that you're not yeah. you don't gotta be flexing about what you read you're a reader you, you read you read you know what i'm saying yeah. same thing if you get money like you don't gotta be posting your money nigga. Yeah, you get it every yeah, fucking we get day. it we get it post the like, one picture and we get it you don't yeah, even gotta post like, any picture but if you post one we listen, get it man the richest you people know? on earth bro don't Fuck, probably man. don't even got social media they don't even have cash they don't they, even touch they, cash. They think that shit is worthless. <laughs> yeah. Like they see a hundred dollar bill on the floor, they'll walk past it, nigga, because yeah. it's worth uh, that shit's worth less than them fucking going to do what they're gonna I do. I have all that money in my card. <laughs> like, bro, money's a, money's an illusion. Money's yeah. not real, bro. Yeah. Money is not real. Yep. Like, it's all an illusion. We put value into money. Exactly. Because if money was worth shit, if the American dollar died, then what does it matter how much money you got under your mattress? Right? That's a fact. That's it's a fact. Useless. And the thing is, it's like it's it's like that with all currency, bro. You, bro, we add the value to it. Why do you think Bitcoin is the way it is? Because we added that value to it. Yeah. Ethereum, we added the value that to That GameStop it. shit. Yeah, like all these stocks, people add the value. We're the fucking market, bro. We're the ones that have the money for real. We're the ones that push the market. Yeah, it's us. So it's like... If we all work together, if I'm we work together, you. bro, it, it'll be a different story. But to yeah. me, that's the impossible part. Yeah, it's just you know, you're not gonna get, bro. You can't get five people mm-hmm. in one room to be on the same page all the time. Yep, yeah. like it's literally impossible. So imagine millions of people. Yeah, like, it's, just, it's just it's just it's impossible. It's unfortunate, bro. Yeah, but that's what it should be. But what's the definition of right? I feel like it all depends on how you were raised in your moral standpoint, your, yeah. your moral values. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But for the most part, people know right from wrong, bro. That's deep, though. You'll get it. Yeah. Like, you'll feel when you're doing somebody yeah. wrong. Like, yeah. You'll be like, damn, bro, that's fucked up. I shouldn't do Even that. Even my yeah. three-year-old knows what she's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, that's Not actually, all the time, but she knows. Yeah. Bro, like, you, it's true. it'll let you know, bro. Yeah. Like, the world talks to you without talking. Like, you could, you could walk in somewhere and read a room. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, some people can't read fucking... Like, I tell Ivy... I was talking to Ivy about this the other day. I was like, you know what bothers me? Somebody who can't read a situation. Like, if we're talking about something, like, let's say your mom died. And I'm talking about it. Like, to Hector, like, that's crazy. His mom, the way she died, right? Getting hit by that car. And you're right here. And you're already feeling uncomfortable. Everything about you says it. But people can't pick up on that sometimes. Like, yeah. body language. Like, yeah. shut the fuck up. Don't yeah. you see this shit's awkward Flags. already? This nigga's feeling weird. Yeah. Vibes, yeah. energy. Yeah, it's like- vibes. Like bro, like you put you put certain energy out there and we're all energy. Energy can't be created or destroyed. So we're yeah. energy, bro. And 
You feel it off of certain people. You know when you're crossing the line, when you're disrespecting, yeah. when some when people want to be left alone. When a bitch don't want you know talking saying? to her, like some dudes don't get that. Oh, niggas, bro, yeah. that shit pisses me off, man. I, I had a I had a fucking fight a few niggas growing up over that shit with my sister. It's like, bro, like if it's no, it's no. And then most of these lame ass niggas try to get at a girl. They can't. And then when they can't, now she's a hoe. Yeah. yeah, it's like, come on. Now bro. she's a hoe. Now yeah. she's ugly. Now yeah. you don't want her. Now she got crooked teeth. Nigga, just, you was just, just trying to yep. you was just trying to get with her. Yo, guess what, bro? Like if she's bad and she's attractive, that means that she has attractive friends. Be friends with her. Just keep it as a friend and and, and hey, make, bro, my and dog, her, my dog her, dropping game though. And, and try some and try her, and game. try her friends. No, you know what I mean? No, like, that that's don't just, commit to one. Yeah, man. Commit to none. Yeah. No, nah, because if she ain't gonna if she, is my breast there? Damn. Damn. Okay. Your I smell it from here. Right, that, he low like, key just gave him that motherfucking mint over not, there. That's not mint. Oh damn. Who, who fucking ripped ass? Damn. Mm. damn. Hold on, guys. Take a break. Take a break, guys. Get your little munchies <laughs> out. You know what I'm saying? Nah, my mouth is tired of talking. I'm no, that's I'm good. Chilling, <laughs> what? They're good. Mm. That's stolen from this Ivy. This gum? Yeah, I stole them from Ivy this morning. I'm like, Damn. all quiet. Like. Wow. Hey guys, this is some good ass gum. Mm-hmm. But we won't fucking sponsor you. We fuck won't shout you out because you don't fucking. You're not, giving me, you're not giving me no money. Nah, you ever you. seen Mayweather? You saw Mayweather when he was like, hey, uh, uh, they getting paid? Mm. Mm. Did you guys talk about that fight? They getting paid? We didn't talk about the we fight because there's nothing to talk about. I didn't watch it. It was hilarious. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I didn't watch it. People were asking clips. me. People were asking me like if it was fucking Canelo and fucking De La Hoya fighting or some shit. I was I like, bro, I'm not watching Olympics this shit. That were fucking way more hype than that, bro. Listen, if it would have been like Tito, Tito Trinidad and like fucking Oscar De La Hoya, I'm watching. Facts. But nigga, I don't give a fuck about no fucking Logan Paul here. It's true. I saw a few clips, bro. That nigga knocked him out, held him up. <laughs> like, that shit, yo! You saw Blueface? Hey, shout out to Blueface, no, man. Yo, Blueface. He, he was mad. Wow. He's like, hell yeah! He made a video at the fucking event, like <laughs> right after. He's like, oh, hell yeah! I'm fucking mad. I spent twelve racks on this bullshit. Oh, hell no. <laughs> he was like front row and shit though. Damn, but that's it's trash. like I wouldn't not do that. Hell no. <laughs> you know who? You know who came out and was uh, singing? Though I saw Money Bag. Singing for Mayweather, like on the mic while he was walking out. I was like, oh, okay. Money team's on the money team. All right. Hey, listen, everybody, the one thing you could applaud is everybody got a bag. Mm-hmm. In that, yeah, everyone. Everybody bag. got a bag. Everybody won over there. Everybody got a bag. Yo, guys, there's like a plague over here of fucking like little gnats. You don't know what the fuck is going on. It's a fruit fly, actually. Well, fucking get the fruits out of here. The fuck out of here. But nah, yeah, bro, like. I didn't pay for it. I didn't care too much about watching it. It wasn't a fight that was... I knew it wasn't going to be that entertaining. It can't be. There's probably rules where they couldn't knock each other out just to make the fight last long. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's... Uh, yeah. Come on, bro. But ultimately, bro... It was a I'm, custom I'm match. Happy, yeah, I'm happy that they, they got their bread. Yeah. But this is a bad look for the sport of boxing, mm-hmm. if we're going to be real. Yeah. For real fans, like, I'm not a super huge fucking fan. Yeah. I'm into boxing. I'm but UFC e- for life. Yeah, facts. But even me, like, I could see how a super huge fan would be like, bro, this is bullshit. I grew up like, on boxing, yeah. Like, they're fucking getting people now. Just niggas yeah. that don't have the credentials to be in that ring or in the ring mm-hmm. with the best fighters in the fucking world. Yeah. And you know then, like, what I'm saying? back Iron Mike days. Like, I don't understand that, though. Like, let's talk about that for a second. Why do y'all think that that he got that fight? Like, mm-hmm. why do you think he got that fight, bro? They said that Mayweather didn't like even train. Because he said what? They said, when they said Mayweather didn't even train for that fight. He had to fight in like four it's years just and money, he just bro. came and fought. Oh, because he's a fucking animal. That lets, you know, a that lets you know that it's just like, it's all about money and it's all about publicity. If you can mm-hmm. sell a fight and yeah. you got the following behind you. Everyone like, got a bag that night, you know? Like, he, he made like a hundred million and then like, I think Paul, whatever the fuck his name, Logan, whatever, fucking made fucking like 20 something million. Bro, they're chilling, man. Yeah. For the fucking 30 minutes worth of work, I'll mm-hmm. do it too. Yeah. But ultimately though, it's still bad for the sport of boxing and that, you know, that's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah, me too. But listen, Listen, guys, we've been back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. Facts. Now, listen, man, hit that subscription, hit that notification bell, and we'll fucking catch you on the next one. Peace of love, everybody. Peace of love. We out here. Hey, hey, hey.